nations. And that's really heavy and big, but I think it's I think it's so true that it lies within the prayers of the children. So that things are actually not going to happen unless children pray. The children are very important, perhaps the most important, because they are the future of our world. And the prayers of children mean a lot to God. He's used children and youth throughout history to do very significant things. And the way, of course, that they connect with God is through prayer. And that's the way he nurtures them and raises them up to become leaders, whether in the mission movement, the marketplace, or the prayer movement itself. Our generation is the most effective um, generation which prays to, to Jesus Christ because Jesus hears us while we're praying and we believe that. God has placed specific gifts inside each one of us to bring glory to his name. God has planted these gifts within us before we even entered this earth. And we believe his heart is for us to be given the opportunity to express these from a young age. We need to be trained and given opportunities for our gifts to be developed and expressed regardless of our age. We desire to be an active part of the body of Christ and believe God will move mightily when we are all joined together in a heart of unity. We are now going to share some testimonies from kids all over the world and how God has moved in their lives in amazing ways through prayer. Um, when I was younger, when I was around two years old, I, um, I was diagnosed with some lung disease and they made me, um, they put this machine, a machine that worked as my lung, heart and kidneys through my neck, so that's why I have a scar here that looks like a bone. And uh, my parents and everybody from my family, they prayed a lot so I could get healed as soon as possible. Even though the doctor told us that I would die in a certain amount of time, which was kind of scary. And yeah, so anyway, they prayed and prayed and prayed and God told us that I'd be healed in three days. And sure enough, that happened and that's why I'm here right now. About when I was three or five, um, I, I was very sick and I kept on vomiting and then we prayed for me and then um, when I went to bed dad just put a bus a bucket next to um, my bed just in case I have to do it again but then I looked at him and said dad why do we have a bucket we prayed I'm okay now and then the next day I wasn't sick for the whole year over that I was 11 years old when my growth has stopped and then I was, I had a lot of hurting in my leg and um, lots of those uh, processes. And yeah, then I, I just uh, prayed for and things of what I ha what happened. And then uh, the doctor says to my parents that I maybe have a cancer, some kind of blood or bone cancer. Yeah, and then we went to the, one of the prayer. Uh, conference where the one uh, woman prayed for me and she said that you will be grown up, you will be grown up. Yeah, so uh, after that, my growth has just going up and yeah, that kind of thing. I don't have any more hurt in my legs now. In 2010, when I was uh, at Bethel Church at Redding, California, uh, I was testified that. Uh, uh, that my my generation would change Egypt, and that's what happened. Uh, the year after, there uh, there was a revelation against the uh, the president of Egypt, and then everything changed. And we pray that today, in this video, you've seen and heard the heart of the Father for the little ones. In Mark chapter 10, verse 14, Jesus says. Let the little children come to me, and do not forbid them, for of such is the kingdom of God. We believe that whether you're a parent, a grandparent, a teacher, a pastor, that not only do you have a responsibility to train and equip this younger generation, but we also believe that there's a responsibility of releasing them into the body of Christ. We ask you today, will you join with us in releasing this younger generation 
into the fullness of Christ and allowing their gifts and talents to be expressed in the body of Christ.